Hello everyone, I am back. And today I'm gonna to tell you, is that my friend? No. <laughs> I thought that was my friend. So on, today I'm gonna to tell you reasons why I got a 250cc at the first bike, so I was getting like a 600 or whatever. So the reason number one is insurance. Now we all know insurance can be expensive, especially when it builds up yearly. So yeah, for example, let's say I pay $17, no, without full coverage. And if someone were to have full coverage, if someone were to have full coverage, they'll be paying, uh, and, uh, and if they have like 600 on the age of 21, they'll pay like $40 a month, which isn't that bad, but think about it. each month you're paying $40. This is for example, Oh, this is not actually true. You know, I don't think people pay forty dollars to have a six hundred. As a, I think maybe they do. I don't know. I guess it all depends. But for example, so by year he has spent ooh, how many months in the year? Fuck, I forgot. Oh well. But it's at least a hundred and thirty dollars. So if you think about it mathematically, it is expensive. You know, you're probably, you know, some of you are paying a thousand dollars a year for just your car. Or even more than that. And that's the reason why I got 250. Note the word, I am, I, my parents didn't buy the bike for me. They're not doing all the repairs for me. You know, all the repairs, all the maintenance, and all the modifications I've done to this bike, which is only a air filter mod. I wanted a aftermarket uni, a uni air filter, that's about it. Now that's all on me, basic, but I'm not paying for my insurance yet, but I'm pretty soon I will, sadly. Life as a man, or life as a grown-up adult, is hard. You never have time to do anything. <laughs> pretty soon I have to pay for my own insurance and all that. Okay, reason number four, I think, is lightweight. Like, for example, that guy needs a 300. You know, both of our bikes are very similar in weight. Probably that one's a little bit high, heavier. Maybe, I don't know. But since it's a, two, it's a 250, it's really light. And it's very forgiving, you know? If you make, like, an error or mistake, you know, you're not gonna feel like your bike's gonna drop on you, such as, you know, putting your feet down and you're about to fall. Uh, well, of course, it's gonna feel heavy at first, but then as time goes by, you know, it will feel light. And it's a very forgiving bike. And that's number number six reason why I got a 250. Now, I've been riding for almost two years. Basically, I've been riding for a year and a half as of so far. So yeah, that was my reasons why I started on a Ninja 250 besides getting a 600. You know, we all have opinions. I know there's a huge debate of you should get a 1000, you should get a 600, so 50 gets the first bike, whatever, that's this that's, that's and that. But hey, you start want you get the bike that you want to get. That's up to you. You know, I didn't. Start, you know, I got my own reasons why I started on a 250, not getting like a 600. So yeah. So I hope you all like this video. I know it's a munch. Like I said, I've been really busy with school. I don't have much topics to talk about. Well, I kind of, I really do actually, but you know, my content is shitty still. <laughs> you know, I'm trying to find. Or I'm still trying to do good editing with the GoPro Hero app. So yeah, leave a like, subscribe for more.